Here's a couple of typical basic DC drive controllers. These are KB electronics units. Uh, these are the basic sort of unit you would use to drive your treadmill motor to do a treadmill motor conversion on your lathe or mill. Uh, they're industrial units. Uh, the same units are used to drive uh, industrial or commercial motors. So they are quite a, a good little unit. This is the KBIC240 model and this is the DS version. Uh, this is a 0 to 180 volt DC output and this is a 0 to 90 volt DC output. They're not very big, you can see from a matchbox how big they are. They basically have the same layout. There's various revisions on these. I mean, the circuit boards do vary slightly uh, between the revisions, but basically there's not much difference. You've got a horsepower resistor here that plugs in that. Um, you put in the value that, that's uh, relevant to the horsepower of the motor that the controller is driving. It's just a 240 volt, very low ohmage resistor. It just plugs in on a couple of pins. You can see here this one hasn't had one fitted. It just pushes in there. And then on the circuit board you have these trim pots. It's the same on both of them. These two here are factory set uh, compensation trim pots. You shouldn't need to really touch those. You can adjust them if you wish. Uh, KB Electronics have instructions on their website on how to do that, but generally you leave them alone. These three here are the ones you can fiddle around with. This is your maximum motor speed minimum motor speed, motor acceleration. The maximum motor speed is generally 60% out of the box and 60 to 70% of the rated motor RPM is where it should go to as far as maximum motor speed because even though a motor might be rated at 3400 RPM it's not meant to run continually at that, at that sort of RPM. Uh, the reason being that um, once a DC motor gets over 70% of the rated RPM uh, it gets hot quite quickly. Uh, it also wears the computator quite fast and with a DC motor your maximum torque comes in as the the revs drop so that the maximum torque is actually in the lower end of the rev range to a point where when a DC motor armature shaft stops uh, under load, that is the maximum torque point. On an EC motor, as the revs drop, so does the torque, so they function quite differently. Um, the circuit board is mounted onto a little alloy heat sink. You bolt up the unit in your protective case on these points. Um, you want to obviously keep uh, metal cuttings and oil and water off of them. Uh, Stay away from vibration as well. Um, these particular units are uh, quite cheap to buy off the internet. Uh, 60 to 75 dollars should get you something. And as I said, even though there's various revisions, they all work the same way. Uh, they have the same functionality. The basic units like this don't have any provision for armature switching on, on the circuit board. So any armature switching would have to be in the DC line going out. That's easily done with a three pole uh, crossover switch. And like any of these um, controller boards you should never change the motor direction with the controller switched on because the backwash, the EMC from the DC motor can come back and cook the board if the, if the control, controller is actually running. So turn off the lathe um, and then you're quite safe to uh, flick the switch uh, once the spindle on the, uh, on the lathe or the uh, mill has stopped turning. So there you have it. So for anybody who's never seen a DC drive controller close up, that's what they look like. Um, they're very simple to wire up. The wiring is basically AC in with a input uh, line fuse, DC lines out, so that's positive negative with a, a fuse on the positive line, and three wires to your potentiometer, which control the motor speed through a variable resistor. So that's the only wiring you've got. And uh, 
you don't have to be an electronic expert to wire these things up. But remember, you're dealing with high voltage here, that 240 volt AC line in can kill you, and certainly 180 volt DC line out can also kill you. So be careful and wire them up correctly, and they should function very well for you. That's it.